Nigeria on Wednesday recorded its highest daily number of COVID-19 cases with 930 new infections. The country reached the new height in infections just five days after recording its previous highest daily figure of 796. Until the resurgence of the infections in December, Nigeria never had a higher number of daily infections than the 745 reported on June 19. The country's total fatality to the disease remains 1,200, as no new death was reported on Wednesday. The total number of infections in the country has now increased to 75,062. And joining us live to discuss this is Ifai Osai, the founder and CEO of Krimbid. Thank you for joining us, Ifai. Thank you. There's been a spike in COVID-19 cases worldwide and in Nigeria specifically. And uh, we just heard the government has warned that if the figures continue to skyrocket, the country might be locked down again. Doctor, are we prepared for a second COVID-19 lockdown? I think the federal government has done a good job uh, in terms of uh, preparing the system to be able to handle uh, a second wave. But I don't think this is something we can, you know, truly ever be prepared for. Um, because if you do not take preventative uh, measures uh, to combat the virus, uh, no matter how prepared you are, the system will be overwhelmed. So uh, it is essential that uh, Nigerians continue to, you know, wash their hand, uh, social distance, wear masks. I know, uh, you know, we have been talking to people over the last uh, few weeks and a uh, few months leading to December, and everybody believed that uh, COVID is not going to be a thing in Nigeria. And we have been warning them otherwise, you know, to you know use a uh, telemedicine service and uh, house call services like a uh, CribMD uh, instead of uh, going to the hospital and queuing up or and you know trying to social distance. So uh, these are really essential things that must be done by all Nigerians. It is their patriotic duty to the country. Uh, to their fatherland to make sure that this disease does not uh, ravage the country. Now, regarding what you just said about COVID-19 guidelines, people have said the government seems lethargic in COVID-19 orientation. What should they do to create more sensitization? So I think uh, they should promote more services like a CRIBM. They, they should, you know, advise people to, uh, uh, you know, Stay at home. That is the most important thing, really. So we do not have to close down or lock down everything. But as much as possible, people should transition to more online things. Like, you know, instead of going to the hospital in person, order your doctor to come to you because the doctor takes, you know, proper precautions and everything when traveling. So uh, with Krim, the doctor can come to your home and we are available in all, uh, you know, uh, in all cities in Nigeria, from Abuja to Lagos to Kano, Kaduna, wherever you are. So, and also, uh, you know, the school children can transfer, uh, can, you know, use, uh, you know, things like Amazon Classroom or Google Classroom and things like that. So the more digital it is, the better it will be for everybody, at least until vaccines uh, roll out in Nigeria and everybody's inoculated. But until then, we should do as much as we can to social distance and not overburden the healthcare system. So I think the government has done as much as they can do. So you cannot force people, uh, it is not a dictatorship, it is still a democracy. So uh, they do rely on people to comply. So they, and, and they, they have been good at putting out this message consistently. Mm. Uh, you mentioned vaccines, I would uh, touch on that uh, briefly, but there's criticism over low testing in, in Nigeria and doubts over the COVID-19 case figures as published daily by the NCDC. How can the government convince Nigerians that the figures are genuine? Um, so the figures are genuine. If anything, I believe it is grossly underreported. Uh, under so for every one confirmed case, there are probably 10 cases or more of people going untested or unconfirmed or that are asymptomatic and just spreading it. And you know, with COVID, uh, the first few days you contact the virus, it's the, uh, it's the time you're most infectious. And at this point, you're not showing any, uh, you're not showing any symptoms yet. You're not showing anything. And you're passing this thing along to everybody. So it is a real thing. People are dying from it. So get over your doubts, get over your skepticism, whatever it is, just get over it and know that if you do not help, you know, social distance, if you do not help use digital services, if you do not help, uh, you know, wash your hand and wear a mask, that you're endangering not yourself, but your family and your fellow countrymen. So uh, COVID is real. I, there is no other way to put it. It is a real threat to Nigeria's national security and everybody must take it seriously. 
Now, there's an impression talking about vaccines that the arrival of these vaccines would create some sort of immunity. Is vaccine truly the antidote to the spread of the virus? Um, so uh, it is helpful. Uh, it is a weapon uh, in a sense, but it is not, we, we must not rely on that exclusively. So if the uh, if you uh, so if you have a little fire in your kitchen, right, and you bring a hose to put it out, uh, it's uh, that is effective. But if your whole house was burning, so uh, the the hose will not be able to put it out. So yes, the vaccine is effective in the long run, but in the short term, we must make sure that not that everybody doesn't catch the disease first, because uh, you know prevention they say is better than cure. So let's all social distance. Let's all you know follow uh, the CDC's guideline. And then when the vaccines come, we all take it as well. So we develop that sort of head immunity. Uh, but beyond vaccine, what's most important is to follow the guideline and make sure nobody, uh, you know, we don't contact it before a vaccine gets here. Now, still talking about vaccines, we've seen uh, obviously remarkable progress with, you know, companies like Pfizer, BioNTech, AstraZeneca with production of several vaccines and countries like the US, the UK, Canada purchasing vaccines in millions of doses and even, you know, uh, issuing those vaccines to people. How about Nigeria? People who are worried, you know, talking about how fast the distribution can get to Africa. What basically will be any word of optimism or hope do you think the government can issue at this time? Um, so I am not entirely sure uh, about what the government of Nigeria is doing or what the Federal Ministry of Health is doing, but what something we are doing at CRIBMD uh, is working with uh, Johnson & Johnson and uh, other, uh, you know, uh, uh, biopharma companies uh, to see, uh, to get uh, access to the vaccines uh, and to, you know, get approval from the Ministry of Health in Nigeria to give it to CRIBMD customers. So if you're a CRIBMD customer, you will get a vaccine, uh, you know, once it's available. So, but in terms of what the federal government is doing, I am not entirely sure, but I do know if you're a CRIBMD customer, you can get a vaccine. Thank you very much, Dr. Ifai Osai, for your thoughts on the news. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you.